everybody, it's Steve Tobin, Chicago Area News. So what we're talking about today is this referendum that is on the ballot, the general ballot, you know, on November 5th here in Illinois. And it's in Niles, and it's a referendum that proposes to divide the village of Niles, which has approximately 30,000 people, into like six different districts. Because right now, the way that the village of Niles is run is you have six trustees. And they all vote together to go ahead and determine, you know, where to allocate and, and uh, apportionate money to the various locations within Niles. So there's been a, a, a petition that was signed by apparently 1,047 vote, registered voters here in Niles. So it was able to be, this petition was able to be put into a referendum, be able to put into the ballot. So now the question is, is talking about dividing the district. So basically the village of Niles sent out this important information screen over here, which just basically tells you as to how it is going to work. And then we've had some, it seemed like a pretty heated issue because I see signs up saying vote yes, vote no. And there was a sign that said vote yes over by Harlem and Howard the other day. And of course it was taken down today. I was going to take a picture of it. It was taken down. Who knows who took it down? I would be surprised if some village person took it down. And right here, this is a mailer we got. It said, vote no. And it says, you know, this is why you, you want to vote no for it. People, you can go to my website, Chicago Area News, and you can basically really get into the minutia of what each one of these says. But it talks about unequal representation, less broad representation, stuff like that. And then this is another notice that came out by uh, Jim Simony, fellow, 35-year-old resident of Niles. I have gone ahead and texted him two times. He hasn't gotten back to me. I have a feeling I know who this person is. I think he may be someone who's politically connected. I know there's a fire, a retired fire person that I know that I see going around with a lot of people around here, as well as the brother of one of the trustees who also happens to, uh, because of nepotism crony and cronyism here in Niles, also happens to be the current president of the um, of the park district, sending out letters about people exercising and stuff. But of course, he's never exercised a minute in his life. Pretty wild. So. Just based on the people that I know who are voting no on this, I'm almost inclined to vote yes. But then I do see some other people who are supporting a certain candidate for president who are saying vote yes on it. And I'm not supporting that same candidate that they support. So therefore, it makes me want to think maybe I want to vote uh, uh, yes on it. Maybe I want to vote no on it. Um, I'm thinking maybe we should vote yes, because right here, this is the mailer that came out. And it says right here that it is the... Paid for by the, uh, what is it? Paid for by the Niles Citizens for Responsible Government. And Joe Makula, Matulak, what's his name here again? Yes, um, Joseph Makula. I do recognize him. I have signed uh, several petitions of him regarding term limits and uh, what's something to do with the, with the, um, with the Niles Library. And this is, this is, I don't know if you guys can see this. This is the letter that was sent out by, uh, friends of the mayor, and I read it here, and it says right here, leading the effort in Chicago-style government is Joe McCullough. Remember Joe, he was lucky to, tr to trustee our prize library. He and his cronies almost destroyed it. Uh, you know, thankfully, he was removed after two years. Now he and a small group of radical cronies are back at it, attempting to divide our community again. I respectfully ask you to join no and ridiculous attempt to turn Niles into a mini Chicago. This is not Chicago. The only news is he doesn't work and it will hurt us. Also, he also claims that it will cost Niles taxpayers one hundred thousand dollars to implement, and nearly seven hundred fifty thousand dollars in additional expenses. This is the letter from friends of the mayor, and then this right here is the other one that I showed you guys. This here is the one who is someone named Jim Simony. I have texted him, but I'm actually going to give him a call, and we're going to go ahead and see what he has to say if he has any any guts to go ahead and identify himself to who he really is and um, say something. And then this one here is the one where it says this is the actual mailing wanting people to go ahead and vote on it and it's talking about it i'm also showing you guys that right there on the screen right there and then obviously we have the one that was uh you know mailed out by the village and unfortunately they managed to get torn in half because they had to put it in an envelope before so that's how that works and this is the one is void no so we drive around niles right now guys you will see a lot of uh signs saying vote yes vote no vote yes vote no um, one thing I do know about Niles, folks, is, you know, it is divided into six, uh, you know, six trustees. One of the trustees, um, Lynette O'Donovan, and whatever her uh, married last name is, she is the sister of Dennis O'Donovan, who's also an employee um, with the village in the uh, community development. He's a property inspector, and he's also um, on the rotating board of the 
of, uh, of the village of, of the park district. So sometimes he's a trustee of the park district, and now this year he happens to be the president. They seem to rotate the same people all over. So I'm almost inclined to say yes, vote yes for this, and just see how it works out. Maybe there's a way we can get different people in and get better representation and having the same people in all the time. And maybe we can find a way to get rid of this nepotism and cronyism in there, and maybe we can stop having um, uh, brothers and sisters uh, being such a famous, important name here in Niles. And maybe uh, the O'Donovan name won't mean as much. Maybe we can get a new trustee to replace Danette, and maybe we can get a uh, a new a new person on the park district to replace Mr. O'Donovan, who the you know again he's the president right now, and then you know they'll rotate it every so often. But it's literally the same faces, people, the same faces all the time. And I'm pretty sure the trustees of the board of the village of Niles to go ahead and vote on who's on the park district. So, you know, you have one O'Donovan as a trustee, you have another O'Donovan as the employee, and you have him also as the president of the park district. So why do we need, and I've seen there was a plaque on one of the parks over here where that his name is actually put up right there on that skate park over on Milwaukee Avenue. So I'm just wondering why do we have to have such a powerful uh, last name here in this? So the, the, the uh, mayor is talking about right here, he's talking, we don't need a Chicago style this and Chicago style that. Seems to me like it really is Chicago style this because we have, um, you know, a one name that is basically two people representing three different parts of government. And I don't think we need that. I could have one name representing one person with one part of government. We don't need a second name in there. But obviously that person's name got them the job and got them the position they're at. So based on that... I would say probably go ahead and vote yes for this. And let's vote yes for it and see what happens. You know, if it doesn't work out, we can always, they can always, uh, you know, get another referendum and they can go back the other way. But if we kill this dead in the water, they will never know how maybe it better it could have been. So me personally, I think I am inclined to vote yes for this just to uh, see if I can do anything about the nepotism and the cronyism that is absolutely rampant here um, in Niles without question. And right here it does talk about uh, the, the no one says right here you're going to have C. All the person in Chicago to be like many mayors. Well, maybe it's better to have six mini mayors rather than have one big mayor who determines everything with his trustees. Maybe his trustees just rubber stamp everything. You guys remember in Chicago, right? With Mayor Daly would just get his rubber stamps and 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 uh, Rahm Emanuel would just get everything rubber stamped and you know he had all these different mini mayors, but they all swim along with him anyway. So that's probably what's happening right now. Is they're probably all going along with what he says anyway. Um, so it does talk about right here. Um, the part where they're talking about advantages, and if you look right here in advantages, it says you know, independent candidates, different trustees, different needs, different problems, good representation, every area will have a different budget. So it will definitely probably cost more to run, um, but it also talks in here about the nepotism and the cronyism, which is, uh, Niles is famous for that, people. Niles is very famous for that. We also have another person who's on the, uh, I'm not sure if he's currently in the um, district on the board, but Joe Laverde. He's been living here for a long time, and they named a, an athletic center after him, um, which I don't know. I mean, you know, it's not like this, you know, Lincoln, the president of the United States, are building monument to him. But I don't think that small towns like Niles should have should have uh, you know, buildings named after individual people. But uh, but that's just me. So again, folks, that's the topic of the day. So I've gone ahead and shown you guys the various mailings, and you can go ahead and check them out and uh, read up on for yourself as to how you feel you want to vote and of course you don't live in niles you won't be able to vote on this but you know this these, these type of things do do sometimes elicit some strong reactions from people in terms of actually changing things so i'm inclined to think back might as well go ahead and vote yes for it let's see what happens you know you know i do know but i do personally know joe Mc, uh, mccola McCulloch, yeah mccola i have signed some of his positions regarding term limits and things like that in the past i didn't actually see I wasn't around and I didn't get to see uh, this particular uh, petition being passed around, but I am familiar with him. And I'm a little bit familiar with uh, Mayor Apogianis. He's obviously Greek and he had a little bit of a history there in Chicago as a teenager, early 20s, apparently a member of some gangbanger. I didn't really know that until I talked with someone who I know from the city at the gym. And he's like, oh, yeah, he remembers him. And then I look, kind of looked it up and um, that was some, something interesting from uh, the mayor's past. And I do have friends been in the restaurant business and they've actually been over to his house and they've broken bread with him as well i've never met him personally but um and again this person jim simony right here i went ahead and gone ahead and did text him and i'm going to give him a call and i'll give you guys an update on that and see how that works once again see Tobin chicago radio news check me out chicagonews.com i'm chicago radio news over on twitter on facebook and all that good stuff do my best to uh, be a reporter here in the trenches, letting you guys know what's happening in suburbia and Chicago.